Hello, um, what we're going to do is to look at form validation today. So what we have done is to create text boxes and then put a button here. There's some helper text here. And uh, when you click on save, let's just refresh this quickly. When you click on save, of course, yeah, this thing does this. Huh? Let's refresh again when you click on save then you can see form validation here i think this is not working because this is just a wireframe but in normal circumstances then it will work uh, what we've done here is to say that if for example the first name is not specified then the error text appears as you can see here when you add a new record the helper text appears please enter your first name please enter your last name please enter your email address and add a plus before the country code and then when you save then it's supposed to do the validation you know so and you click add the what happens is that it sets the focus here so usually as we have been doing before we edit a uh, a new project using the blank wizard and then what we did in the end buttons you know because we have indicated that in our page it has uh, end buttons uh, it has the right buttons the right buttons are the end buttons so what we did there was to add a button icon you know which is the btn add as you can see here the parent component is home and buttons and then what we did was to say that we need to have a button and the icon should be add it should be an icon only the color should be success which is why it is green there and then it should have a clear feel so that is why you see this button here so we have made our mode to be md for this particular page so that the title appears on the left here if we change this title if we change the mode to be ios you know as we can do here and save it Over home. Let me change it to iOS. For some reason, why it's not saving. Okay, let's just leave it for now. But the mode for this particular page is uh, uh, empty so that the title shows on the left here and then uh, because we wanted to have content with iron padding here when we created our page here you know we said that it should have iron content so inside that iron content we added a form and we named it form register so the form register as you can see here it's in form and it's sitting under home content in the tree and uh, that is also what the parent id is so um, that's the form because it will have input components you know so it's visible and there's nothing else that we have applied to it a form of course it's just a generic html component with a form type and then inside that form we added a text input component this text input component is added from the forms um, input you know and then we just specified a few things for it to set its txt first name it's an input component it's sitting inside the form register you know uh, autofocus uh, this does not work um, uh, because
because of the shadowing so we can just turn it off and then the error text that is the red text that appears on it is saying that the first name is required and we have made an outline here a fill outline so that inside uh, at the outer of the text it shows the border you know and then the helper text is blank please enter your first name the input mode is text the label is first name and it's a floating and you can make it to be stacked or fixed also and the mode we change it to be empty and then that is why you see it like this you know so in our button here what we also did was to add an event you know bt and the add and then there is the event you know and what that event does let's just do this what that event does you know, the target id is btn add because we want to indicate where the event should be you know so it's a click event that is going to add to btn add button and then we're saying that when the button is clicked set the focus to txt first name yeah? and then generate a next id for txt id and what you need to do is to clear all the values of txt first name last name email and phone and then you should also clear the validation of all of these things so this first name last name email and phone and then we clear the validation and we clear the values but then we generate the next id for txt id and then sort the focus the primary field is that and then we set the focus to that so within our form as we have seen there are various forms uh input components and we have given them various names you know the txt id doesn't show here but because we have made it to be uh, hidden but let me just make it to be visible so we just set that to be okay and then we save it and then as you can see here is it so as per our event in btn add we are saying that generate a new id and then set the focus there so if you click on add here it's going to generate a new id and then it's going to set focus there you know so the new id is just a unique identifier for that particular record so each time you click the add is going to do the same thing over and over again and then on save contact we are saying that you should also perform some other actions you know so i'm going to show you what it's supposed to do just now so let's also go back to txt id and hide it because it's a component that we do not want to show on our form so we're going to say visible is equals to false you know then it is hidden now we've added all of these components but we have not added them to a list we've just added them to, to the form and then the our save contact button which is this one here uh, the text is save contact we want it to be expanded to full you know we've changed its margins and its height and you just apply a little bit of a border radius to it you know um so this is what we're currently having you click on add and then it generates the id and then you click on save contact and then it does some other events that it needs to find for fire so let's go to the event for btn save contact btn save contact and then you click here the event that is linked to it now the event that is linked to it what is it supposed to do this is a fire event component it's linked to btn save contact which means that a click event there are a couple of events that we have for the buttons but what we want to grab is the click event of the button so we're saying that when the btn save contact is clicked save this particular field so this means that retrieve the contents of these fields and put them in some variables but then also validate all of these uh, 
fields that I get. To validate these multi fields, what we've done is to indicate, give give a select with with a multiple uh, of on, so that we're able to select multiple components within our input fields. And also the same thing that is here. Now we don't have a back end for this particular uh, example linked to it, but it's just a way to say that when we are coding this is just some functionality for crude that we want to add you know so the phone number for example the helper text is that but when we click on save it's supposed to validate our form let's do something let's click on add it's not validating okay let's repeat the preview again let's click on save yeah, but basically what happens is because there's no content here uh, in relation to the other fields here, it's supposed to show red. So you see here, just because I typed in the first name, it's indicating that the other information is missing in our form. Uh, let me do this again. See, so this is somehow working and not working, but in a real application, it's what will happen in relation to it showing that there is information that is missing so to to do this there's some classes that you add on the input components like for example ion valid ion invalid ion dirty and ion touched so you need to swap those around you know uh, detect that your input value is blank and then you uh indicate that the, the 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 class that is going to be applied is invalid if for example the co contents of that input are blank like for example now here we have added, indicated that the class for these co components is in ion invalid because there is nothing that has been entered so it basically means that we can do our form validation uh, using those uh, classes in our code you know so for now this is how form validation works uh, like rumble this one is green now because it is valid indeed um, let's just enter something here and then we say 278 and then uh, you see now um, everything about the form contents is validated and then what you can do then is to read the contents of the inputs and then save them to a back end and also depending in terms of what you are doing um, the way that we have followed in relation to creating the application is uh, for example for the iron make documentation framework you know um, if you go to the structure layout these are some of the structures of applications that we have here so the structure that we have followed is the one that is using text here so if you go to any docs layout structure you can see here the various different structures of applications um, this one is just a simple one header and footer layout then the footer layout then the tabs layout so our application follows this tabs layout where our pages are structured in this particular way there's tabs there's a tab there's a nav then there's a div which is a home page and then the div has a header and a toolbar and a title and then content which basically if you look at this particular section here from here to here from here to this ion tab here is basically the same representation of what we have done here here is our tabs and then here is our home tab and then this is the div and then this is the nav and then this is the content and inside that content we have a page so we have just created a single page for this particular application but this page is a tab 
inside tabs um, so that if we want to create another page for example for listing our contacts here we will create it and show it as a list but we'll do that in the other example because this one just talks about form validation so that's it for now uh, in relation to form validation and then uh, we'll look in terms of the second example in terms of how do we list our contacts in in, in a uh, listings no. okay thank you